What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. Que rollo con todos ustedes. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful... Damn, Gigi, hold up, bro. Hold up. We just started. We just started. I don't know what the heck. I probably clicked that on accident, but damn, hold up. Um, but welcome, guys. Welcome to a brand new show. As always, hopefully, hopefully you guys got notified. Si no, pues, add me to your favorites because... Favorites? Favorites because... I guess that's how that's a new thing. Um, but hello, welcome in, guys. Welcome, and uh, to the the Chisme report today. Then why do I still have this on? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm acting different today. I don't know what the heck was in my coffee this morning, but um, damn, it's all Gucci. Hello, y'all. Hello. As you guys see in the pinned comments, guys, I actually pinned my second my backup account just in case. Um, if you guys would love to um. To follow it, that's much appreciated. I'm not going to be very active over there. I just have it just in case, you know, anything happens to this account, which I hope it doesn't because um, we all Gucci as of right now. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to go ahead and follow it after the show or whatever, uh, make sure to do so because having a secondary account is always, is always Gucci. Um, yes, TCR. Yes, we're here. We're back in action, guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about a few different people. As you guys see in the title, first, first things first, we're going to get into this whole chef Carmen thing. Cause she went live and talked about how, um, she's not part of, she's not an owner or she doesn't own part of seasoning anymore. Her seasoning company, her season company, season company, seasoning company. I don't know. You guys, you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Hello from Cali. Shout out California. Uh, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about um, a TikTok mom getting mad because her daughter didn't want to go live, which is crazy to me. Uh, we're also going to talk about someone new on this channel, on this page, even though I've covered them on my YouTube. If you've been following me my, on my YouTube journey, uh, you know, I covered them, the Rivera family, which, bro, that is so, that cheese is so good. But also at the same time, it's also like it's played out. Like, it, it's been going for a while. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to talk about that. What's the cheese, Danny? Just a lot. Uh, we're not a lot, but, you know, different different type of cheese today, this morning. Um, hopefully, you guys got your snacks. I have my cafecito right here and my agua because, my boy, I get thirsty. I get I get really thirsty talking a lot. Um, but, yeah, let's let's get started. Let's get started. Um, there's a few people, quite a few people here. Well, actually, let's wait for 15 more people to hop on. We have 285. Let's uh, wait for 300. <laughs> let's wait for 300 people. Okay, 292 now. Hello from Arizona. Shout out you, because um, we all live in Arizona. Well, not all, but I live in Arizona. Arizona has been kind of whack this past week. It's been, well, this yesterday and the day before, it's been raining. I hate when it rains. It just it just kills my vibe. Um, hello from Tucson. Shout out Tucson. All right, let's get started, guys. Um, because like I said, we have things to talk about today. Three twenty now. Yes, let's go. I forgot you guys could see that count too. Um, not only on my end, but it was. Let's, we're gonna get into this whole Chef Carmen thing because as as many of you know, I've been I, I've been keeping kind of up to date with this whole cheese man with this whole thing. And if I'm being real with you guys, Chef Carmen hit me up. She wants to talk. Um, so I, I still don't know if I'm a, you know, hit her back up and talk, uh, just because this cheese man is like, it's not it to some people. It's probably deeper than what you guys see here on the internet. But to me, it's not to me. It's just whatever I see. That's what I talk about. Um, I don't think there's nothing more to add to the story, but I, I understand why she wants to reach out and talk a little bit. And also, um, yeah, the people that are coming uh, up with stories, I'm saying coming up with stories because I, I honestly, at sometimes I don't believe them, you know, when they talk about Chef Carmen. I'm, I don't believe them 100%, right? Someone said, let's hear her side of the story. Okay. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll we'll contact her here on the show, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but going back to, you know, people coming out with stories, different stories about Chef Carmen is like, I believe some, but I don't believe all. You know what I mean? But anyways, let's get into it because um, she came out with the live saying she's not part owner anymore about this with this whole seasoning company, which I found, which I was like, you know what? They probably paid her off to, I guess, just get off the company. But what, what let's let's hear what she had to say. 
Miss Carmencita. All right, let's do a cheers to Houston and new beginnings with my soulmate. That's right, baby. They said, take your time, Carmen, take your time. You're not even there. Why are you still over there? Because I wanted you to enjoy your moment. Okay. You know, sometimes I'm just, you know, I'm here for your support. Okay. So, um, guys, to answer the question, um, do I still own part of, I got this issue, the company that I built out of my basement in my home. Um, all 37 seasonings that I created. Um, the answer is no, I do not. Wow. And um, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I can say. I do not own it, but I can say that when I left Atlanta, I left with everything that I asked for. I left with um, my peace of mind. Hold on, pause. Someone said those new teeth fit her better. She got new teeth? What? Um, okay, no clowning on Chef Carver here. But um, I don't know who this is. Sorry. This is Chef Carmen. Okay. So when I saw this, I was like, damn, this is messed up. Hopefully they paid her off to get off the whole brand name or whatever the case is. Because... I don't know if she actually really did this whole, these whole, what she said, 38, 37 seasonings. Imagine putting your hard work into something over the years and then just being like, yo, you're out the company. See you later. Like, I understand if they if they gave you like, I'm just exaggerating here, a million dollars to get off the contract or whatever it's called. But like, yo, cool. I'm Gucci. You have your seasoning. I'm good with a million dollars. But obviously, these seasonings are probably worth more than uh if they have paid her but it kind of sucks to you know just putting your hard work into something you believed in and then just being out the company it's it's kind of whack and i understand why she she's feeling emotional and maybe this is why she's wearing glasses inside a freaking restaurant because i was also confused like bro what you're inside a restaurant like why isn't it dark <laughs> with those glasses um but yeah i mean it's kind of whack, but I just want to see what else she says about this whole th situation. Yeah. I left with my fiance, my beautiful wife, my forever, to begin and start my new, new life here in Houston. All right, sorry, I have to pause it again because she said fiance. Bro, according to some people, these ladies are already married. I think someone hit me up saying, yo, um, Tay's mom confirmed or someone confirmed, right, that they're already married. I don't know why they don't want to tell the Internet, but they're married, um, allegedly to, you know, according to people on the cheese miss side. You know, sometimes some things in life, sometimes they get to be too much. She states she had a lot of eye surgery. On the internet. OK, she has eye surgery. Tay and I have been drugged a lot. And even the people that used to follow me. Okay, thank you guys for clarifying. I did not know what the hell was going on. People are saying she had, she just had surgery in her eyes, bruising from dental surgery. Okay, thank you guys. Now you guys know why she's wearing glasses. I honestly thought it was just, you know, she didn't want to get emotional on camera. That's just my first thought. But that don't follow me, that's a part of different groups. Um, you know, whatever I did to offend anyone in this process. In this journey called life, I would like to apologize um, if I let you down in any way. Um, things turned out in a way that that I never thought they would. And Dental surgery, yes. For okay. my own peace of mind, for my sanity. Um, That's your answer, and I'm not going to elaborate on it. I'm not going to disrespect anyone. I'm not going to dog anyone out. I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. At this point, it is what it is, and my happiness and my peace of mind is worth more than any silver and gold. 
You are amazing, babe. It's worth more than silver and gold. That's all right. Amen. So I'm so sorry for the people that are lost along the way. Um, that caught up, got caught up in a lot of this internet drama. This is real Enough. life. Enough. This is real life. This is real life. And um, I'm no longer affiliated. Wait, I can't say affiliated because I still have some things I have to do um, for a period of time. But I, when I left Atlanta, I left with everything that I needed. I left with my sanity. I left with my happiness. I left with me because it's too much pain. It's too much hard. Did she say people are getting hurt. Did she say it's too much fame? Hold on. I got to repeat. I got to replay that. It's, it's too much pain. It's too much hard. Oh, she said pain. People are getting hurt. And I don't want to be the cause of anybody's hurt or pain. Um, and that's just my perception. You know, we want a lot of this internet bullying, this internet drama to stop because if I don't have anything nice to say, I don't have nothing to say. If I don't have nothing nice, I don't have anything to say. So all the people that is enjoying this journey Continue to do, enjoy a new journey with me and Tay. We're gonna turn up and get lit. Y'all saw us. We worked hard. Jesse was just here. We have so much new and amazing content that we are gonna be bringing you. All right. So you guys get the point. She just, you know, basically sharing, pouring her heart out there, and she said, "Yo, I'm not part of these the seasoning company anymore." And uh, you know, to some people, it was a shocker. Um, oh, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to not to read the comments, but I hear you guys talking about Yeti and Mona. I will look into that. If you guys could give me a little description of what the heck is going on with them, because I don't I don't follow them like that. Let me know in the chat. But uh, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about it. Um, But yeah, it just my thoughts is like, bro, imagine working hard for something for so much and then just getting that ripped apart. It, it's kind of whack, but um. Yeah, I don't know. And then the whole thing she says about, you know, people bullying her and stuff. That's whack. As, that's whack as hell, too. Um, you know, I'm not calling anyone out, but there is pages out there um, that do the most. Um, like I said, I mean, I'm I'm probably one of them. Um, I try not to. I always tell you guys, I try not to, you know, just go in on certain people. I try to look at, you know, both sides. Um, some people, I'm not going to lie, I go in. AKA Dora, you know, <laughs> but, um, yes, I go in on them. Um, uh, but some others, you know, I mostly try to see both sides, but yeah, that's that. I just, I just found it interesting that, you know, she's not part of a company she started anymore. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's all good with her and her wife, fiance, whatever the case is. I don't know what it is. People are on two sides. Yo, that's her fiance. Yo, that's her wife. I honestly don't care. Thank you, Victoria, for the stars. Um, but yes, hopefully it's all Gucci with them and wherever their next journey is or whatever the next journey is. Um, but anyways, let's go to another another thing I wanted to show you guys because um, I talked about this certain lady. Uh, was it? Wait, when did when did I talk about not not your uh, normal Nana, whatever her name is? I, I think I talked about her um, this Monday or it was it last week. I don't know, guys. Refresh my memory. I talk about a lot of people. Um, but anyways, we're talking about her. Um, I know you guys want to hear the laugh. <laughs> uh, we talked about her this week or last week, whenever it was. And there's just a little update with you guys. I did mention that she got mad at this page because, you know, some people, um, she thinks other people are behind, you know, sending me videos, which, you know, they are. But the people she thinks are sending me the videos they're not um i i don't have contact with them um i guess she has beef with other people that sell on the internet as well i don't have contact with them is literally people out there on the internet just send me stuff and sometimes i find stuff on the internet for example this video that i'm gonna show you it's it's bad um they're at dunkin donuts and they're live or i don't know who's live because i didn't see the page but you see her in the background 
And what this little, what her grandson says, I believe that's her grandson because, you know, um, she's taking care of him. But just check this out, guys. It, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And I'm not even blaming the kid. I'm blaming the environment he's in. So let's let's take a look at this. I had a, obviously I had to blur his face. I had to blur the word he uses. Just the ice cube coffee. Frozen blended if they got it. They got the wake up rap. They got stuffed biscuits. They got grilled cheese. A sourdough bread sandwich. No, you already picked what you want to get. A sausage egg and cheese. I got the black bacon sandwich. Black pepper bacon sandwich. Wow. You guys probably didn't hear that because I did block it out, but you see Nana over here with the other little girl. Um, yeah, I had to, I had to blur it out, guys, because it's 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 not good. But let, let me replay it for you guys. I got the black sandwich. <laughs> he said he got or he wants a black N word sandwich. He literally says it, guys. Like I said, I, I I blocked it out for everyone because it it's not a good look, dude. It's not a good. Look. What the hell? When I saw, it, I was like, bro, what are you? What are they teaching you at home? Um, let me play it one more time. I got the black sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on in the household. Like I said, I don't blame him. I blame. The uh, the environment he's in, the people he surrounds himself, obviously, uh, his grandparents. But um, yes, Nana, if you're watching this, I know you're probably a fan. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, whoever you think sent me that did not. I literally um, I forgot. I forgot if this video was sent to me or I found it. I don't know. I, I see shit all the time. But I'm like, bro, what? What? This is so crazy. I And if you guys know how old the kid is, please. Let me know down in the chat. I don't know. I don't watch them. But, um, yeah, and if you guys don't remember who Nana is, she's the one that um, had the cockroaches in her bed. <laughs> uh, and she sells stuff online. So, yeah, if you guys buy it, buy stuff from her, just be careful. Be careful. You might get cockroaches. But, yeah, that's just something I wanted to uh, touch up on. Um, Someone said he's 11. Wait, I'm confused. One person said 11, other person said 8 years old. So, um, yeah, I don't know. He Okay, 11. I got two 11-year-olds. Okay. Still, it, it, it's sad, but um yeah. Um uh, someone said no, he's not going to talk about the Chion. Who's a Chion? Who's a Chion? Let me know. Um but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys with that because Ms. Nana did get mad at me. She said Something about a, uh, she's going to contact her lawyer, something about a lawsuit. I'm like, relax, relax. Everything here is on the internet. Uh, so yeah, just relax. Don't waste your money. You, you, it's not going to, no, don't waste your money, Nana, please. And it's weird calling you Nana, <laughs> even though that's your Facebook, um, uh, Facebook page. All right. The next thing I want to get into is the whole, this, this went viral, right? If you guys have TikTok, you guys probably seen it, but this whole thing with the mom, uh, there's a page with a mom and daughter. It's called, uh, let me show you guys, Scarlet and Tiana, Tiania, whatever you say her name. Um, but this page right here, it's basically a mom and daughter. You know, they get ready together and uh, the mom does uh, the baby's hair. You know, some people think it's cute. They have a lot of followers. Uh, what did it say? They have six, over six million followers, you guys. Six million followers follower followers um so this was going around because miss girl miss tiana whatever you're saying there thank you for the stars appreciate you um just watch this and let me know what y'all think she gets mad at the the baby for not wanting to live stream to make her money right so let's let's check this out oh i don't have time to do that your brother's gonna do it in the car get in your seat now let's go come on Love you. Let you me say know. hey, everybody. Let's see if you guys catch it. Do you know where your brush is? Huh? 
I don't want to be in there. I don't want to be in there. <laughs> okay, tell everybody bye. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Hey, all right. Bye. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we got to... <laughs> Poor baby, bro. Look how scared she looks. Poor baby. But if you guys did not catch that, if you guys did not catch that, um, let me replay this and just focus on the mirror behind this baby. Just focus on it. And look how... um. Look how she, angry she gets. Like, right here. Do you know where your brush is? Huh? I don't want to be in there. I don't want to be in there. Okay, tell everybody bye. Then she comes. No, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, all right. Bye. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we got to go. Bye. <sighs> that breaks my heart, dude. That breaks my heart. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people... There's a lot of people that do this that that put their 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 kids up for you know content for money, bro. That I mean, it's one thing to post your kid, but it's another thing to depend on your kid for money. Uh, this scenario, and you know, I saw a lot of comments saying you know people were flipping her off, or not people. The mom was flipping her off. I honestly did not see a, a middle finger go up, but let's take a look because then this video it, it zooms in a little more slow motion or mm. oh okay i see why people think why people think the mom flipped her off okay so right here um i don't think that's the middle finger i think that's just you know her saying get your ass up and get on camera but it's still sad um yeah that, that looks like an i mean i don't know it's hard to tell right it's it's very very pixelated um, but yeah, it, it kind of does look like she's flipping her off. I just can't tell. I'm trying to play the devil's I got this here, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just sad that people like this content creator, content creators like this depend on their kids for money. Um, yeah. Don't haven't they heard about, you know, freaking Disney, Disney kids, you know, the people that the kids that grow up in freaking Disney channel have a lot of problems. Anyways, that's that. But she was getting this this backlash, right? And she came out with the video, a response video, like a sorry video, like just responding to the the haters, I guess she called them. Um, you know, just she wanted to address what happened, what was going through her mind. But uh, yeah, I saw this. I'm like, girl, are you like on your knees on a toilet, <laughs> sitting on a toilet? Like, bro, that looks like a toilet. It could be a sink. I don't know. But it looks like she's on her knees in a toilet address this whenever I got back home as we were on vacation and Scarlett feeds off of my energy and I just want it to be uh, I just want her to have a really good time <sighs> with that said first I did not flip Scarlett off okay anyone that knows me knows that I am an amazing mom and that's one thing that I freaking know for sure that yes I yell okay I'm a yeller I don't spank so I yell basically Every once in a while, Scarlett's maybe got three spankings in her whole entire life, and she's almost six, okay? So... Okay, when she said that, she only got three spankings in her whole entire life. But then you go back to the video. Okay, let's 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 all do this together. Sorry, I paused it. But let's just go back to the video. Um, She said she only had three spankings in her entire life. She's six years old. But here... Hold on, I'm sorry I'm showing this again, guys. I just want to make a point here. When she, when she goes back to the girl, the baby, look okay, how scared so she looks. Bye. No, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, all right. Bye. She doesn't want to be on camera. so we. Like she kind of flinches, bro. Like a baby that's been hit mo multiple times. Um, But yeah, that's just my thought. Uh, Don't come for me, Tiana, whatever your name is. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I just found that interesting. Like she's only been spanked three times her whole life. Allegedly, according to the mother. Um, Scarlett don't listen. She don't listen. So uh, it's something that we're working on. And uh, before that, before this video, like before that little clip came out, the beginning of the live, she was being silly and joking and all that. I asked her, do you want to go live? Because we were on Amazon Live. These people that Amazon are doing this... Life don't like me they have not liked me since 2020 november of, i think it was like november 2020 
These people have uh, a vendetta, or whatever that word's called. For me, it's it has nothing to do with Scarlet. They're not trying to save Scarlet or whatever they're trying to do. They don't like me, okay? They, they have uh, something against me, and they are trying to bring me down uh, and, um, and mess up my reputation and me as a mom and me as my character. Back to Scarlet, don't listen. Scarlet, don't freaking listen, okay? I'll tell her five million times to do something, okay? Whereas, and so maybe about the fifth time, I'm a little freaking perturbed, and I'm like, oh, right now, okay? Maybe, no, for sure, I should have cut it off before then. 100%, I should have cut off the video before I say get up, okay? Yep. I should have done that. I should have not talked about her itching on live. I should have not done that. <laughs> oh, wait, yes, I forgot. She just mentioned the itching, so... As I was doing my research in this whole thing, um, you know, it came out. There's a video. I did not download it because I didn't want to show you guys um, because I, I don't think that type of content should be online. Right. There's a video. I guess the mom was going to take her uh, take the baby a bath or whatever. But the baby's like, Mom, I'm itchy. I guess she was itchy down there. Don't know. And yeah, she was just having a conversation like, yo, why are you itchy on live? I think that's not a conversation I have in front of millions of people online, uh, maybe behind cameras, maybe, but not in front of, uh, in front of these people, especially TikTok guys, a lot of weirdos out there, a lot, not even, not only TikTok everywhere. Right. But she had a conversation. Um, so I am agreeing with y'all on that, but I did not flip my child off. I do not abuse her at all. Scarlett is living her best life. She is good, y'all. And the fact that y'all are like, the fact that y'all have no idea and you're literally telling me to go off myself and, and messaging my children and messaging my family, like, I don't understand. Like, the hate messages that I'm getting right now and everybody is so about mental health right now and y'all are like, Tell me to go jump off a brick and bridge. Like it sounds like Dora. Over something you know, you have no idea what has happened. I do not make Scarlett go live. I do not make her do videos. I ask her. You can ask anybody in my life. I always ask her, do you want to do this? If she says no, we don't do it. So with that said, I don't think that's true. There it is. I'm an amazing mom. My boys know I'm an amazing mom. Scarlett knows that I love her so much. And thank you so much for all the support and love from everybody that is out there. So yeah, so uh, that's her response. Once again, I don't know if she's kneeing down on a freaking toilet. Uh, someone said, why is she whispering? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why she's wh whispering. I, I don't know if she's on vacation or anything like that. But, yeah, I just thought I had to talk about this. Um, someone also mentioned that she had a video. I couldn't find it, but I did find this video on uh, Facebook. Some of you guys were sending it to me as well. But um, let me see if I could skip through it. So there's a video where um, she says something about money. All right, let's let's play it. I think it's this one right here. I skipped it. Shout out to uh, this guy right here. He made a good video about it. Oh, my daughter is good. She's good. And she loves doing videos. And if she doesn't, then we, then we go, then we do what? Then we're like, okay, well, we just won't do them anymore. That's what I told her. Because mommy will find another way to make money, okay? To make money, okay? Uh, she said mommy will find another way to make money. So obviously she's using her daughter for money, exploiting her daughter on TikTok for money. A lot of people are saying I love him. Oh, shout Derek. His name's Derek. Um, shout out to Derek. Um, I I thought no, someone just re-uploaded that video. Um, it wasn't from his account, but shout out to Derek for making this video. Um, like I said, I couldn't find the other one, so I just you know wanted to show his a video but um yeah it's just crazy that um <laughs> bro how dumb can you <laughs> like you're on live you don't see the mirror not even that just if your daughter doesn't want to be on it she doesn't want to be on it she told you from the beginning and you still made her get on the chair and be in front of that phone in front of that camera so crazy it reminds me of another thing another situation i talked about a while back of a YouTube mom. Uh, let me see if I could find it. I totally forgot her name. But uh, let me go to my channel and see if I have it there. But anyways, to give you guys some context, there was a YouTube mom, uh, a vlogger, talking about 
how her puppy was sick, uh, something like that. And she made her son like take a thumbnail. Um, and she's like, pretend you're crying, pretend you're crying. But the son was legit crying because the dog was sick. I think, let me see. I, I totally forgot. If you guys know what I'm talking about, please let me know in the chat. Cause, um, I really want to show you guys that, um, this happened a while ago too. Hold on guys. I'm trying to look for it. If I can't find it, we'll, we'll see it another day, but. I know I I know I talked about this in my in my YouTube channel before I start this whole um, this whole Facebook thing. You see, people are saying they remember it. Yeah, it it was so crazy, guys. Okay, what's her last name? I think Ashley is her first name, but I'm trying to find her last name. Uh, Ashley, what? Mm, I don't even know what to. Um. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see. Okay, I think I found it. Well, I found some videos. Hold on. Uh, let me see. I think it might be this one. Yeah, I think I found it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to play it for y'all. Don't leave. Okay, so I found it. It's right here, this one. No matter how much you know about positive mindset law of attraction it doesn't matter how much you're educated on that when you're in the moment it's still so hard to not feel sad i'm gonna let you guys go i need to go be there for christian i just wanted to give an update because so many of you turned on the countdown reminders for my new video today and you wanted to see our big news please pray for her i know she's gonna make it through she's an amazing beautiful little girl and i can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family so if you could pray for us we appreciate it. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs> come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your head, put your head right here. She forgot to edit this out. Close, down, put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, I'm not actually seriously crying. No, I know. But go like this for the video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. Bro, he's crying. But let them see your mouth. <laughs> what the fuck? Let them see your mouth. I don't know, Mom. I'm actually crying. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Bro, I got me. so pissed when I watched this. I know. Look at me. Look at me. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's over, it's over, it's over. Bro, like what? And there was some Andrew. Oh, Hale. sorry, bro. She forgot to edit that out. She forgot to edit that out. But I was just going back, how I was saying, yo, it reminded me of that situation. Um, but I feel like this situation might have been a little worse. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. But yeah, either way, you shouldn't exploit your kids for money, bro. I know a lot of people do it. It's okay. It's it. I guess it's a it's a trend going on. Uh, do the GG laugh. I can't do it right now. We're kind of in a serious situation. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just it's it's dumb. It's dumb that people do that. And bro, it's dumb that you don't edit that. Like, I don't know. How does it cross your head not to edit it out? <sighs> People bother me, bro. But anyways, let's get into something more, I guess, more uplifting, more funny. So I don't know if you guys um, are aware of a, a, a family in the Hispanic. If you're Hispanic, Latino, Mexican, you guys know who I'm talking about. But if you're not, uh, this family goes by the they go by the Rivera family. Very successful family because two of, uh, you know, two siblings were very well. One was a very, very well, two very, very successful artists in the original Mexican music. One, Jenny Rivera, she passed away. Two, Lupio Rivera, still alive. Uh, I'm not sure if he's doing music, but he was popping back in the 90s. But anyways, there's a lot of drama going on with him ever since Jenny Rivera died. So Jenny Rivera, Jenny Rivera died because they were popping. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I did not mean that. Jenny Rivera died because, uh, and then after that, I don't know why I said popping. I read something here. 
after that, um, the whole drama came up about, right? So um, Juan Rivera and Rosie Rivera, other siblings of Jenny Rivera, a whole bunch of mess, guys. Allegedly, they were stealing money from Jenny Rivera after her death, and Jenny Rivera left that left the money for her kids, blah, blah, blah. It, it's a lot of drama to catch up on, guys. But um, if you guys do want to catch up on everything, um, tr- go to my YouTube channel. I have a playlist of the Rivera family, and you guys might catch up with that whole playlist. I, it's like five, six, seven videos. I don't know. But so yesterday I was scrolling on TikTok. I was scrolling on TikTok, and this came about. This video came about, which, first of all, me, I'm not a big fan of Juan Rivera. I do, I strongly do feel like him and his sister exploit Jenny Rivera after she passed away. Um, they they're still trying to make money off her off her name. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people believe that. But um, yeah, me, like I said, I don't like this guy. Um, I think he's a freeloader, but that's just my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, let me know down in the chat. But this video, <laughs> it came to my feed on TikTok, and I found it so hilarious. So let's let's watch it together. Good. You made me strong. You taught me well. I'm going to be good, I promise. Uh, so if... Uh... Hoy mañana hablamos de todo lo que se tiene que hacer, pero nomás los quería ver y decirles that I love you guys. Y no sé cuánto tiempo estaré allí, pero el para mí decirle un adiós de no sé cuánto tiempo a mi familia es muy difícil. Okay, so for those that don't speak Spanish, he's basically saying his goodbyes. The caption reads, urgent message uh, from Juan Rivera. And then Juan Rivera uh, doesn't cry... Or no llores, te sacaremos rápido. So they're saying, don't cry, we'll get you out quickly. Um, and stuff like that. Ya compró la casa con el, con la cárcel. He already bought his house from jail, whatever that means. But anyways, let's, he's he's just saying his goodbyes to his kids, his sister. So the girl right here, this is uh, his sister. This is his mom. And I guess this is a tía. They have, this is Juan. This is his wife. And these are his kids. So he's saying his goodbyes. Um. So, ya tuvieron que sufrir una vez por mí cuando estaba en la cárcel, and I promise not to ever do it again. Pero no te preocupes, hijo, no te preocupes. Ahora es diferente, la situación es diferente, y este sé que vamos y que la prueba es grande, la, la llevas porque Dios es grande. Y entonces todo va a estar bien, tu familia, vamos a estar orando por todos. The mom is saying, don't worry, this time is different. Um, just don't worry about it. We're going to be praying for you, blah, blah, blah. Because Juan did mention, like, he wasn't going to do this again the first time he went to jail. Um, that he wasn't going to leave his kids behind, blah, blah, blah. That's why the mom is saying, yo, don't worry, this time is different. Y este, y, y por ti, pues para que Dios te mantenga allí firme, como decía, firme y sin temor. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm going to miss you, but I love you, and I'm happy, and I'm excited, and I just, this is going to be awesome. I don't have a voice Thank you, guys. guys. I'm going to talk to my kids. Para hablar con my sister, I love you. Bye, Bye kids. Bye. Bye, Nina. Bye, Bye. 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 Quítalos. Okay. Please, hold this. Bro, I can't stand him, bro. I can't stand his voice. I don't know. So, I don't know what it is. Mañana is the last time que voy a poder hablar. Okay? Tomorrow's the last he said, tomorrow's the last day I will be able to talk to y'all. En las mañanas, les voy a querer mandar mensajes. The mornings, I'm yeah. going to want to message you. I'm going to miss you guys. But like, <laughs> he's getting so sentimental. And look at the kids. They're like, dad, what the fuck? Why are you crying? It- No. Siempre que digo ser un good father y estar ahí eh, y ustedes no saben pero cuando yo viva a cantar 
Bro, okay. So a lot I see a lot of people. Why is he going to jail? I asked the same thing, bro. Turns out my guy is not going to prison. He's not going to jail. He's not, bro. He's going to a show. He's gonna go do a show. Uh what's the show called? Uh La Casa de los Famosos, something like that. It's a Spanish show. He's gonna go do a show for three months. And within these three months, I guess he doesn't have a phone. But bro, he's crying. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, I, I understand you're gonna you're gonna miss your kids and your family, but why couldn't this be something you do over FaceTime? Why does it have everything with you guys have to be monetized? <laughs> why? Uh, that they irk me so much, guys. This this is another family that irks the shit out of me because for any little thing they try to make money. You guys don't know. Uh, even the mom, the mom, Doña Rosa, <laughs> I call her Doña Florinda. Um, she, um, she does cooking shows on Facebook. It, it's, it's a whole mess. But yeah, se pasó de verga este, este compa. Like, bro, you, you went online and you made people think like you were going somewhere else besides freaking this show, bro. But yeah, guys, it turns out he, this guy is going to a show. He's doing a show for three months and apparently you can't have your phone in the show. So I was like, bro. I thought me being a nosy, a chismosa, I was like, bro, why is this, why is he going to jail? What he do? But I don't know. Yes, that, that deserves. Fucking weasel chorizo. He's a fucking weasel chorizo for that. He's a weasel chorizo. I don't know. I'm sorry, Juan, but <sighs> you exaggerated, my guy. You exaggerated. And you know what? <laughs> Doña Florinda, stop, Danny. Yes, it's just a joke. It's all a joke. Um, But yeah. Hilarious, hilarious. Uh, I can't stand him either. I cringe when I hear him talk. Yeah, exactly. I cringe too, guys. I cringe too. But there's a lot of people that have strong thoughts on that family. Uh, my thoughts are I don't really like that side of the family. Um, just because it is it is kind of messed up for him and his sister, Rosy, to, I guess, just, just keep talking about Jenny. Trying to get money off her name. And apparently they can't talk about Jenny anymore, Rosie and Juan, uh, because the daughter filed something with a law, like a lawsuit or something, uh, or send a cease and desist letter. I don't know. Thank you for the stars. Star Appreciate party, you. Guys, go. Uh, hold on, guys. I'm trying to see why this video got demonetized. <laughs> oh, my God. That sucks. That's annoying. Um, I don't know what the hell happened, but it looks like. This video, this live is demonetized. So shout out to whoever whoever did that. Hold on. Let me hold on. Let me try to figure it out. Someone said his voice irks me. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I can't I can't stand him, bro. And it's funny if you guys are just like following me from Facebook. I I, I like I said, I used to talk about them a lot. Um probably twice a week. And uh there was this one point where his daughter actually reached out and commented under my um on my post saying that I'm a shit starter. I'm not like, oh really? Really? Um that's your whole family, dude. It's your whole family. That's your whole familia. Uh started yes, yeah, start, party, start guys. party guys. Go. Um hold on y'all. I'm trying to see. I don't think I could see Oh, never mind. It did not get demonetized. Ooh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, now he's a chismoso, not you, Danny. Uh, Danny. Thank you for the stars, guys. I do appreciate it. Star party. Guys. Um, but yeah, that's all I have. Oh, wait, no. Actually, there's one more thing I want to uh, touch up on because this was kind of messed up. So an influencer by the name of... I, I guess I guess he's mostly on uh, the, um, on YouTube. Yeah, he's mostly on YouTube, but he's everywhere, right? Every influencer is everywhere. Influencer by the name of JJ or CJ So Cool. This is his channel right here, guys. Um, apparently, he got, like, they broke into his house and he got shot. He got shot four times, bro, in his own home. Um, I was going to show you the video, the news coverage, but... Yeah, if I show you this, this news coverage might, might, might demonetize me for sure. Thank you guys for the stars. Appreciate it. So, yeah, I just, like, bro, what? It is so crazy. 
literally in his own home. And he said that like a few days before his daughter, um, his daughter was there with him. And he just he's just really happy that, you know, his his girl and his daughter weren't home when this when this whole situation happened. But this took place in Vegas, I believe. Um, but yeah, it, it is so crazy. One other thought that came to me when I was watching this, I'm like, this is why you don't I'm not saying he flexes. I, I don't watch him. But I'm like, this is why people shouldn't flex on the Internet. Thank you, Stephanie, for the stars. And Star if you guys Wars, don't know guys, what flexing means, like just. You shouldn't show off um, on the internet of what you have because you never know who the hell is watching and creeps. Um, the creeps are out there, guys. The creeps are out there. But yeah, I just want to touch up on that because I'm like, bro, that is crazy. Uh, hey, just popping on. What did I miss? You kind of missed a lot. <laughs> but if you want to replay it, you are, you're always free to replay it. Just hashtag replay or my cheese, man. That helps a lot. But, yeah, that's all I have for y'all today, guys. Um, is there any other cheese me you guys wanted me to cover? Obviously not right now because I need to work on it. But I hold on. Let me write it because people were telling me about Yeti and Mona. Um, I really have to catch up on my on my uh, Latino cheese me because where the hell's my pen? Because I've been slacking, guys. And if you guys know me, I started with this whole uh, Latino cheese me. But I told myself I was gonna I was gonna talk about every type of cheese man when I um when I uh este, when I come on Facebook because I didn't I didn't want to limit myself to everything or to more people out there you know Mona has a tia that is jealous of her oh okay um tia Chana what the hell <laughs> for real is that a name or is that the tia's name. Uh oh, those bows are hot, man. They will keep you busy. Well, I'm trying to stay busy, so yeah, let me know. Thank you for the stars. Appreciate you, Shelly. Did you find out any other news about Louis? Danny, you're the best. I have not yet. I haven't seen updates. I've been like trying to track their Instagrams, but they haven't been. It hasn't been. Uh, they haven't updated anything. But once I do, I'll update you guys because I really do want to see. If my guy ran into that mailbox, because that is so embarrassing. Everything, have you heard anything about Lan? I heard her page got taken down. Yeah, so let me double check for you guys. So his biggest page did get taken down as of yesterday. Let me just double check because you never know. Facebook might be doing all this crazy shit. Uh, Pepe Aguilar's daughter. <laughs> That's something else. That's good cheese me too, dude. I was just watching that yesterday. But I don't know if um, I don't know if you guys are into that uh, uh, because yeah, that's that's pretty funny. Keeping up with with Lynn. So yeah, I think his page, his biggest page was taken down. Is still not popping up for me uh, unless he blocked me. But I don't think so. Um, but he does have a few more pages, which is annoying, dude. Facebook still has to keep doing their shit. But, um, yeah, he goes live on his other pages. And uh, it looks like he's growing over there, too. Fuck. It looks like he's growing. But like I said, this dude has to be off social media. It, what he's doing is not right. It's not right. Uh, didn't then go over to Instagram. I don't know if he did. He probably did. Uh, Dora made a new, hold on. Hold on. What did she say? Dora made a new post and hashtag cheese me. Was this today? <laughs> Let me go see. Let me, my nosy ass wants to go see. As if she blocked me. Nah, she wouldn't block me. She needs the cheese. Wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. I can't show this. <laughs> Oh, um, she's annoying for this, bro. You're not gonna get on the algorithm with with hashtag cheese me. <laughs> she's annoying. Anyways, um, Mona y Jettos Heros Gettos comments are off. Um. 
Yeah, she um Dora just basically posted what she posts is uh everything. Make sure you're reading so about money, about refunds. I don't know what the hell she's posting, but at the end she put hashtag hashtag cheese man at everyone at cheese man at influencer. Bro, esta viejita ya no sabe. She don't know. <laughs> Another one that irks me for no reason. Uh, she's a thief and doesn't refund. Yeah, that's what I heard, dude. I wasn't even going to touch up on that because, I uh, listen, if I'm being honest, I'm over this whole Dora situation, but exposed yesterday, he put out, a, or he, they put out a screenshot of, uh, let me see, where can I go? Of Dora not paying or not giving a refund. Hold on, let me see. I'm going to just, we're already talking about it, so might as well. This is not going to be a, a title of the thing, of the video. Danny, good afternoon. Have a great day. Take care, my friend. Take care, y'all. Take care. Appreciate you being here. Um, When did they post that? Was it yesterday? Oh, yeah, this was posted yesterday. There are someone is waiting for their $15 deposit and send the correct way where they don't have to pay a fee. Uh, that's why they declined it. Please process this lady's payment through. Yeah, so apparently this lady is waiting for a refund. Uh, but Dora ended up blocking her. <laughs> what a that's whack. You paid a forty-five cent fee. That's kind of whack. But anyways, yeah, that's just dive right in. <laughs> uh, she apparently she owes a lot of people money. Uh, also, the expose is a he. No, it's not a he, guys. I just said he for, I don't know. It's not a he. But now now some of y'all are going to take that narrative and be like, it's not three girls. It's a guy. I honestly don't know who runs the expose page. Um, You will see my comments on, the re- on there with receipts on the expose page. Let me see. I hate that Facebook does this. You have to select all comments. Um, down. So you request it was multiple requests. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Like I said, I didn't want to dive into it because I'm over this whole this whole Dora situation. Obviously, she she still could talk about what she wants. Uh, I sent her a message as well and no answer. Well, she's going to block you. <laughs> she's going to block you. Who cares? I just like cheese man that exposed page. Thank you guys. Yeah, I heard, I heard Dora blocks. If you ask for money, I don't know. I'm just, that's what I'm hearing around the cheese man. Um, hold on. Dan, now you're normal. Nana LC said you're a bunch of men bash. Ah, I don't see that whole comment. Um, damn, I can't see that comment. I want to know what she said. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, if someone could copy it and paste that comment, that would be appreciated because I can't see the full comment. You, yeah, she blocks, but not you because you make her money. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop making her money, I guess. I gotta stop. Uh, don't want to send a refund. Or Dora wanting send a refund via business instead of F and F gives Dora opportunity to ask PayPal to reverse charges. Mm, yeah. Um, but I'm seeing if I could read anything else because before I head out, um, I don't see anything. Uh, I saw May got a couple of words from you, Brandy, and upset through LMAO, but she loves her words, and you said she's going to build a shell. <laughs> okay, so this is Nana said you are a bunch of men targeting women. Um, that's what I, I don't like when people say that because it's like, bro, mostly influencers on Facebook are women. I understand there's some guys. Obviously, I will talk. I've. I have talked about some guys here. Um, I have talked about some guys, for example, like that, those two guys that eat rats, those are one. Um, what are the, the guy that 
um, the psychic dude that reads your cards and then gets mad because you talk about his cards. That's another one. Uh, I talked about Len. I talked about um, Munch, Lady Munch. I talked about what's that other dude that begs for money? I talked about a lot of guys actually. But I do, I do get, um, I do get um, the messages saying, "Yo, you only talk about women here on the platform. Why you don't talk about freaking guys?" I mean, like, well, I do. Oh, thank you. Another one, the truth. I talk about the truth. Uh, I kind of stopped because his mother effa was, um, como se dice, he was demonetizing my page. Uh, the guy that was, who? Oh yeah, the guy that got beat, Louis. Bro, come on. I talk about a lot. If you don't put cheese me online, you will end up on the exactly, bro. Another thing that drives me nuts. Don't forget about Tobias. Oh, that's another guy. That that guy's funny. Yes, <laughs> he's funny. Dude, another thing that gets me like, not in a mood, but like, it just irritates my soul. Okay, that's going too far. Is people literally trying to um. Listen, we just talked about Ryan. Yes, we talked about Ryan too. We people trying to really, really like hard to get on this page, and I know what they're trying to do, right? They're really like they're talking shit about me on their platform to get me to grab to grab my attention, right? But guys, I know you're doing it on on purpose. Like I'm not gonna go out of my way just to respond to. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I do go out of my way just because you know sometimes. It's, I don't know. I might need content. Or sometimes it's funny. Uh, don't you have a Tobias sound clip? I did have one, but uh, I changed it for this one. <laughs> I only have uh, six here, six on my soundboard. So I don't know. Maybe I should bring it back and take another one out. I don't know. Maybe. Um, there is one guy that his wife had to ask him if she could go to the bath. What? That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's just funny that people really like they want to hop on the, the cheese my report. It's it's funny. Uh, I was going to have a whole little life tonight. Hey, you go for it. Go for it. If you do tag me. Uh, he said, I might need content on my cheese, bro. Sometimes it'd be hard coming up with content. I'm not even going to lie. Um, but yeah, there's there's a certain person that really was talking shit about me, like hardcore. But I know what he's doing. He's doing I, he's doing this shit on purpose because he has no no uh, views like that. <laughs> I would never no. listen, guys. If you ever want to talk about me, it's okay. It's okay. Put me on your title. I don't care. Um, but yeah, the tatted, I believe, right? Uh, I'm Team TCR. Thank you, TCR, all the way. Uh, I applaud you for actually making content. It's where to find good content to watch. Yeah. And like I said last year, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to ump this, um, uh, TCR. So I'm trying to get people in here. I'm trying to get interviews. I'm trying to kind of make it like a actual, actual show. I want it to go for like for over two hours, maybe, maybe three. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully one day. Um, it's just hard because it's by my I'm I'm by myself right now, so I don't really like I need someone else to be here or to chat with to bounce ideas off of one another. Uh, but being by myself, it's it, it is kind of difficult to have that. Uh, does she still own cookbooks? I'm probably you're probably talking about Chef. I don't know. We love us some dirt. Um, there's another question I've been getting asked. What happened with Vaughn and Dre? I honestly don't know. Um, ever since, you know, that hoax was, was out there about, he passed away it guys, that was just a hoax. Don't, um, don't believe that it wasn't verified by any of his family, but yeah, uh, some people are saying over two hours. I know it's long guys, but listen, I enjoy long content because for example, I, I watch podcasts that are three, four hours and guess what? I watch it at the gym while I do cardio or when I'm when I'm cooking because I love to cook. So I, I don't know. I just like I just love long content. Sometimes it is annoying, but it is what it is. I wish Facebook was like YouTube where you could put um, timestamps and then just skip to wherever you want to go. But it's not 
it's not that way. On YouTube, you could. Like, you literally, you put the timestamps in the description box, and then you read the description box, and if you... If there's a, a title appealing to you, then um, you just click it and it, it jumps right into the into the the the, the segment. Uh, what's your Starbucks drink? So uh, my Starbucks drink, I usually get um, vanilla cream cold brew, sweet vanilla cream cold brew with two pumps of white mocha and chocolate foam to top it off. It's so good. It's so good. You guys could use uh, my code, the cheese Mary report on in Starbucks. I'm just kidding. I don't have a code, guys. I don't have a code. That was all jokes. <laughs> Love from the UK. Shout out to the UK. You fancy. Yes, I try to be. <laughs> Your content is dope. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to make it dope -er, if that's a word. I'm going to try to, you know, have make it good. Um, also if you're, um, if you're on my, if you're a member here on the page on uh, Facebook, I'm trying to have little lives over there. I don't know when, don't take my word for that. I don't know when, but I, maybe one day, like, oh, you'll have five shows a week. Uh, I was loving the cheese, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Dope or not a word, more dope. <laughs> well, more dope sounds like, you know, actual dope. Watching from Colorado. Shout out Colorado. Appreciate you guys. Um, but yeah, guys, probably t four more minutes and I'm out. Got stuff to do. I actually got to go to the freaking post office to pick up some stuff. I keep freezing. Sorry if you guys keep freezing. Uh, just make sure to go back and come back in. Doper sounds good. <laughs> uh, you need to go live with some influencers and ask... Like an interview, I like, bro. Yes, I will. That's my plan. So I wanna, I wanna bring influencers on. Um, but like, I have. If you, you guys can't see it here. Let me see if you guys can actually. Hold on. So in back of me, I literally have a podcast studio set up because I, I actually have a podcast. But um, yeah, it's gonna be my podcast and then the Cheese Mary Report. So it's literally a studio back here. You guys can't see it, but hopefully one day. Um, you guys are able to see it. I don't want to clean. I want to make hats. Well, make them hats. Make them hats. Watching you from Westgate Glendale. What are you doing in Westgate this early? Oh, well, actually, it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, shout out to you. Are you drinking at the Lola? Doper and Cusbin are my new favorite words. What does Cusbin mean? That's some type of like. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. Interviews. Yes. So that's my goal to do interviews. Um, so we'll, we'll see if that if I make that happen. You should also cover reality shows or is that too much? So with reality shows, I I would love to, but I don't have time to watch TV. <laughs> I'm a dad. So, yeah, it's kind of difficult. Like, I literally, if I want to watch a show, I have to put, like, I have to watch it after my son goes to sleep. Uh, do you have a podcast now? Yes, it's called El Ambiente. I do it with my siblings and their significant others. We are coming out with one next week. We've been on break for a while. Watching from Prescott. Shout out, Prescott. Um, cousin, someone married to her cousin. Oh, that's weird. I never heard of that word. Never in my life. Watching from Salt Lake. Shout out Salt Lake. It's okay to be a dad. Yep. I will report. Listen, if you want me to cover something and you want me to report it, message me. I'm always down. Um, But yeah. Lunch at Kabuki. Oh my God. Freaking Kabuki is always good. Thank you for the stars. Um... But yeah, last thing I want to talk about. Um, I don't know if there's any cowboy fans here. Uh, let me know in the chat. Let me know. Let me know. Um, you guys got lucky. <laughs> Listen, I'm a big ass hater on the Cowboys. I can't stand them. They're like, they're another team, another team that irks me so much. They irk my soul. Um. But yeah, just wanted to put that out there. 
uh all day baby listen i honestly thought you guys were gonna lose but you guys ended up winning so uh good luck to you guys and the 49ers on when is they play sunday right saturday no they play sunday <sighs> cabo here but it's okay you hate i'm sorry guys look at my team i can't even talk because we lost <laughs> in niner gang yeah, so um, just for people that asking me, like, who am I going for? Um, obviously, I'm going for the Niners. I'm going for the Niners. So, yeah, just wanted to end the show with that. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Who do you think is winning? Winning from that game, the Niners. Uh, no, yes, they are. <laughs> hey, catching up the end of the live. What did it say? Um. I love y'all, but the Cowboys are my shit. Yeah. Um, Cowboys all day. All right. Let's see if you guys. All right. Hopefully you guys have the same energy next weekend or next week. See if um, they win or they lose. I don't know. To me, it's going to be hard for them to win in SF, but um, we'll see. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars in the house. That was a good game. That was a good game. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys so much. Sorry, I got off topic with sports, but um, don't make me don't cancel me yet, guys. Relax. Uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys um, on Friday. See you guys on Friday. And once again, if you guys have any cheese man you guys want me to cover, please message me. Don't hesitate to message me, and uh, we'll see what we could do over here in the the TCR or TCR and TCR. Um, but yeah. Most of your followers are from Texas. I know. That's why I said it. That's why I said it. Um, just to get get people riled up. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love to start shit. I love to start shit. But, um, yeah, just it's all jokes, guys. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Friday. Peace.